In today's video, I will be showing you how I created the scale detailing for this armor. This will be the first video in a series centered around creating pieces for this Dragon Master Renaissance outfit. The techniques that you will see are ones you can certainly apply to your own project with any theme of your choosing. All the supplies I use will be listed in the description box below. What I'm going to be starting with is this um, vinyl and it actually is really soft on the underside. So if anything were to come in contact with her skin, um, it's, it's soft for that purpose. I took the design that I drew up here and I drew out like half of the design here, which is here. You can see the, like this is the front. And then the strap that would go to the back into the diagonal that you see here, diagonal here. Of course, you're only seeing half of it, okay? And then the strap that would go from the middle to the sides that you see here. And then I'm gonna fold this vinyl in half and then cut the design out so that I have exact mirror on the other side of the design that I made. My nieces live three and a half hours away, so I have to kind of make do with like my mind and my visuals that I have. Um, so I am kind of just guesstimating here. I'm not super particular about measuring to the exact. I just kind of go with it. I am turning this green um, dragon fabric that um, I had gotten at Hobby Lobby painted green. And I'm adding some purple to it because my niece Alyssa wanted purple in her outfit. You just keep adding until you're happy. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Now we did do a little bit to their outfits last year. They already had the fairy ears that I made for them. Um, if I remember to do so, I will post a picture um, or add a picture to this video of the fairy ears that I made for them a couple years ago that they did wear last summer. And then my goal was to always just to continue adding to their outfit. The dragon fairy is what we're currently working on. Uh, this is for my niece Alyssa. Hi Alyssa. So here's what it, what it how it started out. And then there is how it is in the purple color now. So I decided after I did the first layer of purple over top of the original green fabric, I decided that it wasn't purple enough. So that's what you see me doing here is just going back in and doing another layer of the purple to make it look more purple as opposed to like a brown, which is what it ended up looking like after the first layer. So as you guys can see here, this was one of the fabrics that I did with um, the lighter version of the purple. And when I redid the other fabric in the purple, you can see how different it is. This one still looks green, which is why I redid this one. So I will also be redoing this one here um, because I have enough of the green and I think that I need to do a lighter version of the purple on this one. So this will be like uh, maybe like a darker purple. This will be a little bit lighter. Here was the first purple that I showed you. Okay, which ended up being a really cool purple color. And then now you can see the difference here of how much darker this one is. So in this quick clip, I'm gonna show you um, how I've cut some of these pieces out. And the key to like cutting these out quickly, as you can see here, I took my um, pattern and I just kept laying it out and I kept alternating because you'll get more out of your fabric that way. I'll take and I'll cut down whoosh, one strip and then I'll take and cut the side. It doesn't matter how clean you make your pattern lines does not matter because you're going to cut on the inside of the black line. Please do not take time to make things so precisely perfect. It does not matter. So save yourself a lot of time and frustration and don't worry about it. Here is the cutouts of the different purples of the scales. So here is one kind of next to the other. I know the lighting is not the greatest, but you can see that this one's darker than this one. I have all of my cutouts ready to go. And then over here, I have all of my greens that I will be using as well. So I thought I would just show my progress so far as to laying out how I want to do the pattern. And the reason I wanted to share right now is because I am so excited. The Game of Thrones 
uh, theme song came on while I'm working on this dragon themed costume. So I thought that was super cool and just wanted to share this quick little clip. So here I am gluing down all of my pieces with hot glue and I'm using, or using a very little amount and I'm not doing the edges. I'm kind of doing like more um, above the bottom point of the scale and then kind of um, at the top it doesn't really matter because you don't see it. But I wanted to make sure that the pieces still kind of um, flipped up and had some texture to them. I did not want them completely flattened and glued down. Um, and of course you just start at the bottom, work your way up so that they all layer properly um, over top of one another. And I am referencing um, a picture that I took from when I did the first practice layout and I was really happy with it. So I just took a picture and then that's what I'm referencing here so that I can just kind of go through it quicker, just pick my pieces and go. And uh, you just go all the way to the top, make sure all of your vinyl is covered, and then you go back in later and trim up the pieces that you wanna trim up. So I left all of the um, points at the bottom piece of the front, but then I trimmed up the sides and the top, and then I cut down through the middle to create the two front pieces because again, it's gonna be laced together um, in the front center there. So those did not actually end up staying all one solid piece in the front there. It did get cut through the middle. Um, and I will show you here in just a moment the uh, final product of um, how the front turned out. And here is the front. All the layers are finished up and I have it all trimmed up. So here are the fairy ears. Um, these here are the dragon themed ears to go with the outfit that I'm making in this video. This here were the ears I made for um, the butterfly fairy. Uh, this is the um, water fairy theme one and um, the other one I have to fix. This one I have to fix a little bit too um, because I did wear them last year and this one kind of started falling apart a little bit. Um, but this is the water fairy theme. This was the sunfire fairy. And then these were actually the very first pair of fairy, eerie, uh, fairy ears that I made. Um, and I ended up just wearing them myself because I made them uh, these ears here. So I just wanted to share those because these were really fun. The girls loved them. They're a great way to just add a little pizzazz to your um, outfit. And even if you don't have much of an outfit, um, these are great to just for fun. Um, I had a lot of fun wearing mine too. So, Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. I post new videos on Tuesdays, so be sure to ring the bell so you'll be notified as soon as I upload. See you in the next video.